the worst defeat in Sparta's history, a single battle that Sala took to end Sparta's generation's long dominance. The Thebans had 6,000 hoplites versus 10,000 Spartans. An oracle predicted Sparta would be defeated if a king died in battle, and that's exactly what happened. In 371 BC, the Spartan army met the Thebans near Leuctra. This battle was part of the Boeotian War. It pitted Sparta against the city-state of Thebes. They fought over control of Boeotia in central Greece. But for Leuctra, Sparta dominated Greek land warfare, but that day changed everything. The Spartans had 10,000 hoplites and allies. The Thebans had just 6,000 hoplites. But Theban general Epaminondas came up with a tactical innovation. He concentrated his hoplites into 50 ranks on the left wing. His goal was to smash Sparta's 12-rank phalanx. An oracle predicted Sparta's defeat if a king died in battle. King Cleombrotus I led the Spartan forces that day. As the armies collided, the Theban left wing crushed the Spartan right. The Spartan right flank retreated, losing 1,000 men. 400 were elite Spartan soldiers. Among the dead was King Cleombrotus I. The prophecy proved to be true. The Spartan phalanx could not withstand the assault. They broke ranks and fled. This was the first time Spartan troops had been routed in a pitched battle. It was a crushing defeat for Sparta. The battle ended Sparta's military dominance over Greece. The Thebans broke protocol after the battle. They dictated terms for Sparta to recover its dead. They erected a permanent trophy, not a perishable one. Some believed a comet predicted Sparta's unlikely defeat. But perhaps the myth of an invincible Spartan army was false. Many historians argue as much. The common image shows Sparta as an ultra-militarized society. Spartans are stereotyped as superior warriors defending freedom. Yet this portrayal is almost entirely incorrect. Despite their fighting reputation, Spartan armies lost as often as they won. Sparta defeated Athens in the Peloponnesian War, but it had Persian financial backing. Sparta won fame for victories at Plataea and Mantinea, yet it also suffered key defeats at Pylos, Arganusi, and Leuctra. Sparta was a large Greek city-state, yet it struggled to achieve political goals. Spartan campaigns mostly failed abroad. The state had poor logistics capabilities. Athens sustained Eastern Mediterranean armies. Sparta struggled to operate armies inside Greece. In the early Peloponnesian War, Sparta failed at basic logistics. It could not solve operating in nearby Attica, just 150 miles over land. The Spartans also lacked tactical and strategic creativity. They used the standard phalanx formation, shields and spears in close order. Pop culture often portrays this as uniquely Spartan, but most Greeks have been using hoplite phalanxes since the 5th century and Sparta did not innovate beyond the phalanx. Sparta's agogi system raised male citizens. Pop culture depicts it as an intense boot camp, but it did not actually teach weapon skills or tactics. Its main goal was obedience and conformity through violence.